Hey, good morning and welcome to TWC Projects. Um, great to have you with me today. I hope uh, hope you enjoy what I'm going to show you. Uh, and that is, uh, I'm going to unbox this little portable generator inverter that I picked up a while back. Um, and it's been sitting in the box for a little while. I knew I needed to get it out and get it running. I bought it for a few reasons. One is, um, uh, you remember uh, if you've seen past episodes where I did the internet, um, yeah, high speed internet solar system up by the road and I was concerned a little bit if it uh, gets to the point where you know in the winter time if we get some short dark days uh, and uh, maybe too long without sun that I might lose my internet and I need that to work because I work from home so uh, this is that's one of the reasons I got this so that I could put it up there and, and, and use it as a backup power as well as it will it can recharge the batteries while the solar isn't working uh, if the sun isn't out as well as it can um, you know run the uh, internet stuff at the same time so very useful for that but that's uh, you know that's really just a backup thing that wasn't the main reason I got it the, the other reason or the main reason I got it was to be able to work out in the woods I've got a project coming at some point in the future um, a ways out but you'll see it eventually uh, where I'm building um, a pretty a uh, pretty big treehouse and um, a lot like the you know inspired by the treehouse master Pete um, Nelson so uh, anyway there's a lot of tools that I like to use that aren't cordless and um, having a portable uh, source of power out in the woods um, where there's no power out there will be really great to have so uh, I got that and of course it's always helpful for other things as you might imagine so I'm gonna unbox that um, I'm gonna put oil in it start it up and then I'm going to hook up a few of my tools that I like to use and see how it works. Um, a couple things that I, uh, I know I'll want to use in the future and hopefully it powers them well. But hang in there and watch. You'll see and uh, hope you enjoy this. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is the uh, Pulsar inverter. It's uh, 2300 peak watts and 1800 um, uh, steady stream of power. And uh, so far I've just flipped through the uh, manual and you can see some of the numbers on it. It has several ports. Let's look at the front of it. You can see we've got uh, oil light, overload light, output, uh, run, choke, of course. Uh, economy mode is kind of neat, um, and a lot of the, you know, some of the newer ones have that. It uh, basically, it'll idle kind of low until there's a power draw on it, and then it'll it'll rev it back up to uh, higher RPMs to give you the power that you need. It helps save gas and quiets it down too. It's not as noisy that way until it's running at full power. Um, and even then, hopefully, this is fairly quiet. That was one of the reasons I got it. Um, we've got other power ports here, um, including, you know, uh, you see I can use this to charge a battery with um, or jump something with it. Um, my 120, which is what we'll be testing out today. Uh, and then, you know, if you need to charge a phone or one of the smaller device, 5 volt device. And it actually has these ports. You can actually, you can hook two of these in parallel and actually run it at 240 if you want to. And, for a larger um, situation, like a, a bigger camper or something of that nature, um, but uh, I, you know, I didn't get it for that. Uh, for me, I just I need it for um, like what I described earlier. So, um, I'll show you what else is in the manual. Pretty good manual so far. Um, I've just flipped through it a little bit, make sure I knew what kind of oil I needed before I started this project today, and what I'd be in for in terms of the uh, the uh, amount of effort to put it together. Which is, I mean, it's already together. Really, it's just I've got to the side off do the oil change uh, or excuse me add oil to it and um, so I'll show you that as I go along but uh, I wanted to kind of give you a real up close look at everything So I pulled the cover off um, pretty easy. There's a few um, 
rubber uh, grommets here that help uh, hold it in place too. Uh, nice uh, heavy duty foam on the inside. I think that helps cut down the sound. Oh, and I found the, the part that goes over the spark plug. I thought it was an air filter cover, but it's just a spark plug a cover. And um, anyway, I've got it open. This is what it looks like inside. Hopefully you can see it real well. Uh, here's my air cleaner in here, I believe. And I've pulled out my little dipstick. And it did have a little bit of oil in it, so I just need to go um, get the uh, rest of the oil and um, add that in. And then we'll put some gas in it and uh, try it out. Alright, so this calls for 10W30 um, and uh, 0.35 liters or 11.8 ounces, which is it's about a third of a quart. So. Um, I've measured out a third of a quart, and it helps to have this kind of thing because when you're trying to pour, it's hard to guess. Um, so at least this gives you a good starting point. And um, I won't pour it all in at first. I'll put most of it in, then I'll put my dipstick in and try it. The other thing is, uh, of course, your machine should be on a level. Uh, that's pretty common with anything you're doing oil with um, because uh, obviously the tilt of the machine will shift the oil and give you a false reading if you don't have it on the level. So I put a level on here and threw a couple little boards down on the bottom to make sure that my table I was working on was level. So. Alright, so I'm ready to put the gas in it. Um, one quick thing I wanted to, to share with you, I'm sure most of you know this, but if you don't, hopefully this is helpful to you as well. Um, any machinery like this, uh, I've got a lot of gas powered machinery that I don't use all the time. I don't use up the gas, and um, gasoline tends to <coughs> leave a, uh, a residue of sediment behind or can cause problems with um, kind of like a shellacking inside a gas tank. And a lot of folks will, they talk about you know, draining your gas out every time, especially for a generator. We would, you might, it might sit for months uh, or a year before you use it again. Uh, I'm not a big fan of draining gas and putting gas back in, but uh, I am a big fan of using a, a fuel additive like an enzyme, enzyme like this. Uh, you just add one ounce of this to uh, a ga uh, to excuse me eight gallons of gas. I think it's the ratio on this one. And uh, there there are all kinds of different versions or products out there like this. But the idea is that enzyme helps uh, preserve the gas uh, for you know a year plus. I use this in all my gas cans. Like I just. I pour it in there before I go to the gas pump uh, and I fill all my gas cans and I, I, everything I use that with the premium gas for the sawmill uh, and the regular gas for the UTV for the all the other stuff that wood chipper all the things you've seen um, and I'll do the same for the generator. One last thing, so in terms of starting instructions, obviously um, you want to put your cap on. And this is an interesting cap because if you can see here it has an on and an off. So we need to make sure we turn it on, but um, whenever you're done using it and storing, uh, you'll simply turn that off. Uh, in fact, I think that's, uh, yeah. So uh, the other thing it says is make sure that you turn the economy switch off uh, initially when you're starting um, the generator because you don't. Um, it, it needs to be able to run full throttle for a minute, I guess, to warm up. So we're going to try it out. Turn it to run and then to choke. And uh, once it starts running for a few seconds, we'll uh, on choke and warms up, we'll switch it back to run. No 
problem at all. That's an economy. What the heck, let's try both at the same time. say that worked like a champ I uh, you know nailing I use this all the time for uh, with my nail gun framing nailer and, and um, so that's the main thing I probably use this with uh, and would want to be able to use this remotely and uh, of course the saw and I'm gonna go get something I think that's uh, a bit beefier we'll see if I can if I can push this thing a little bit I've got a big old drill it's a big one Let's see what it does We'll see if the overlight light, overlight, overload light comes on. Um, let's try it. There you have it. Uh, I gotta say, this thing's pretty nice. It by far exceeded my expectations. Um, it's a little quieter than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, it is still heavy. I mean, like you, you gotta it takes a little muscle, but it's not like a big generator, of course. Considering how well it works, how quiet it is, um, and any tool. I mean, this is probably the biggest draw of any tool that I would have. You know, this. Is, allow me to put tabs into a tree for, for a big tree house um, or you know other projects outside where you you've got to drill some big holes uh, I think this thing is nice so uh, hope you've enjoyed this I you know pretty simple uh, process here but I'm very happy with what it is based on the, especially the price point this is probably the lower lower end I don't know if there's anything much less expensive than this that had this kind of power and these features so um, I'm looking forward to using it I'll, you'll see this in some other projects when I'm working out in the woods and um, doing some things where I need electricity uh, uh, away from uh, my, my house so anyway that's it hope you've enjoyed today's uh, video I hope that you're doing well and you're enjoying outdoors it's just uh, spectacular fall going on right now uh, it's probably 65 degrees right now and the sun is just so gorgeous and the air is clear the sky is clear um, so uh, glad you've watched the channel thanks if you haven't seen it before come back again hit subscribe um, hit like uh, if you like the hit the thumbs up and um, even ring the bell if you want to see the next ones that come out I try to try to get them out once a week sometimes more often sometimes a little lot less often depending on how busy I am but uh, Got something new going on most all the time, and um, hopefully it's a little bit entertaining. It's uh, helpful, useful information if you're, especially some of these like product reviews. Some I'm doing some construction projects. Some are little adventures, um, but I'm always working on something, and I try to capture it and try to make it the interesting as I can uh, for folks who like to do this kind of thing too. I know there are a lot of you out there like me, um, just regular guy who uh, enjoys doing this stuff on the weekend and uh, or when you can. And, or if you're retired and you're doing it while you're retired, perfect. I look forward to doing that soon, hopefully. A little ways away still, but um, but that's my plan. So anyway, uh, have a great rest of your day. Enjoy nature and God's creation. And uh, come back again soon. Take care.